Why did this iconic restaurant lose its Michelin star? The Big Apple has no shortage of steakhouses. Smith and Walensky, Keens, and Gallagher's to name a few. But perhaps none has been as much a staple as Peter Luger. Located in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, Luger opened up in 1887, initially as a place for billiards and bowling. Luger quickly became an institution for incoming immigrants to congregate. And only until the mid 20th century did it become one of the most famous steakhouses in the country. But while it's still a destination for steaks, sides, and schlag, it has seen a public downfall. Three years ago, New York Times critic Pete Wells gave it zero stars. The Michelin board must have felt similarly taking away Luger's star. Perhaps the restaurant is so old-fashioned that its refusal to adopt to the Times has impacted the people's opinion. But since Luger's reputation hit rock bottom, they've been slowly making amends. They started allowing people to pay with credit cards and have begun takeout orders. Say what you will about its ruffled mystique, it hasn't deterred diehards and tourists from experiencing one of the most unique spots in the New York City dining landscape.